The movie begins with a biotech company that's spraying the local golf course with a special fertilizer that can easily melt the snow. That way, the rich people can enjoy their golfing all year round. Dan is a security guard in a rich community. One day, as he's making his rounds to make sure everything is okay, a kid named Andre almost crashes into him. Dan tells Andre not to use his phone while cycling, but Andre ignores him. Next, we get a nice view of the setting. It's an island, which is connected to the mainland via one single bridge. Later, Dan calls his daughter Patricia to take her out to dinner, but Dan is not cool enough for his daughter, and she rejects the offer. Elsewhere, Andre's mom has not arrived home yet, so the babysitter who takes care of his little sister, Annie, is about to leave. Before leaving, she asks Andre to take care of his sister. The next morning, Andre's mother is late for the office, so she hurries away, leaving Andre and his sister alone. Elsewhere, the richest person on the island, named Michael, is checking the golf course. He is happy to see that the pharmaceutical company's fertilizer has worked and the grass is nice and green. Soon after, his friends come to play golf. Marcel and his wife, Maude. Michael happily tells his friends about the good condition of the golf course and they all look forward to playing on it. Meanwhile, the babysitter did not come that day, so Andre has to take care of his sister. Annie almost hurts herself with the TV but thankfully Andre saves her. Meanwhile, Patricia is shown to be working for the rich people. Dan calls her, but she ignores her father. We then see that the fertilizers actually entered the town's water system and now, people are drinking it. One such person goes to the supermarket, but he starts feeling strange. He goes to his girlfriend's home, where he finds out that his teeth have turned yellow. And just like that, he changes into something terrible and attacks his girlfriend. He bites her neck and kills her. She, too, wakes up as a zombie. Elsewhere, Michael, Marcel, and Maud get back to their mansion. The people who work there are behaving strangely as they, too, have been infected. Maud's dog approaches them, but it starts attacking her. The dog turns out to be infected, and therefore... Maud becomes infected too. The other infected people run towards them, so Michael and Marcel run back inside and lock the doors. But the dog also manages to get inside and bites Marcel on his leg. He becomes infected too and starts chasing Michael. Meanwhile, Dan has been called by a woman to check on her neighbors. Dan goes to them and sees that they are behaving very strangely. The woman who called Dan also turns into a zombie and chases him back into his car. He gets scared, so he calls his daughter. But Patricia does not pick up his call. Elsewhere, Andre's mother has also turned into a zombie after drinking the infected water. She starts chasing Andre, who becomes scared and confused to see his mother behaving this way. But he manages to run out of the house while his mother chases him. Dan arrives just then and crashes his car into her. Despite being terribly injured, Andre's mother drags herself towards him. Andre approaches his mother to help her, but Dan tells him not to do that and leaves to help other people. But Andre cannot leave his mother alone, so he grabs her by the legs and drags her back into the house. On the way, lots of zombies attack him, but he manages to close the doors before that happens. He then calls the police, who inform him that the entire island has been quarantined. No one is allowed to leave or enter. Just then, Andre notices his mother trying to reach Annie, so he drags her into the bathroom where he locks her. Dan also goes to find Patricia. Just outside, some zombies try to attack him, but he manages to fight them back. Meanwhile, in order to stop the infection from spreading, the bridge connecting the island to the mainland has been blown up. In doing so, the island loses electricity. 
Andre's phone also runs out of charge. Andre goes back to check on his mother, and Annie follows him without him realizing it. Andre's mother tries to attack Annie, so Andre distracts her away from his sister. When they go to the living, Andre's mother accidentally drops the TV, and it falls on her head, killing her. Andre is shocked to see his mother die like this. Andre checks outside and sees lots of zombies there. So, he takes Annie and opens the door. The zombies see a cat and follow it. And Andre takes Annie outside. Some zombies chase him and surround him. Just then, Dan pulls him inside the mall and saves his life. Andre wants to swim to the mainland. But, Dan says that the water is too cold to do that. Just then, Andre sees Patricia. She, too, has turned into a zombie. This is the reason why Dan is so sad. But he believes that she can be cured, which is why he is keeping her safely in a room. Meanwhile, Michael calls the company that made the fertilizer. The people on the other side tell him that experts will arrive soon. That night... Dan and Andre listen to an RJ named Patrick, who goes live and says that the people of the island will not be taken back, as they might infect others in the mainland. So, Dan calls him and tells him that there are many people like himself who are not infected, but Patrick replies that the people on the mainland cannot take the risk of bringing in people from the island. Dan is frustrated to hear this. Dan and Andre talk about what could have caused this infection. Dan figures out that it's because of the water. Andre believes this, saying that he hardly drinks water as well. The next day, Andre, Annie, and Dan go outside while also taking Patricia. They have put her head in a cage to prevent her from biting anyone. Elsewhere, the babysitter calls Patrick on his live show and tells him that there are many uninfected people who need to be saved. Patrick tells her that as long as the virus is contained on the island, the world is safe. If it leaks out, then the whole world could fall. Meanwhile, Michael is sitting in his home when two girls from the biotech company approach him. He tells them that he has already destroyed all the documents and contracts connecting the fertilizers to the company. He then commands them to bring back all the fertilizers that are out there. The two girls show him the vaccine for the zombie infection. Just as Michael is about to use it, they stop him and put the fertilizer in his mouth. He too becomes a zombie. Dan and the group have now reached the water supply station. Dan tells Andre to leave Annie in the car. Then, the two of them with Patricia go inside. But, inside... Patricia runs away from them and falls into a tank full of water. Dan follows her inside. Suddenly, a more dangerous and mutated zombie comes out of the water. But when this new zombie notices Patricia, it turns its attention to Andre. So, Andre runs away to save his life. Dan tries to pull his daughter out, but Patricia's arm comes off completely and she falls back into the water. Meanwhile, lots of zombies are chasing Andre, but he manages to run back into the car. The zombies then come after Dan, but he puts Patricia in front of him. The zombies don't attack him, and he too reaches the car safely. There, he puts Patricia's hand on the dashboard. Andre takes Patricia's hand and uses her fingerprint to open her phone which still has enough charge. At the golf course, the biotech girls are using the vaccine on the grass, which stops all infections. Dan and the group reach Michael's home and try to enter, but all the doors and windows are locked. So, he climbs up a balcony and enters. Then he opens the door from the inside. There, Andre surrounds Annie with lots of furniture so that she won't step out. After that, Andre and Dan find Maud's dog, which is now almost completely covered with grass, but it's still breathing. Then, Dan tells Andre to go take care of his sister, but when Andre goes to check on Annie, she's not there. Annie has been crawling in the main hallway of the house. Meanwhile, 
Dan finds a time bomb in the mansion, and he is thoroughly shocked. Apparently, this was done by the biotech company because they want to erase all possible evidence. But Dan stops it just in time. In doing so, he too comes in contact with the fertilizer. Elsewhere, the girls find out that the bomb has been stopped, so they come back to the mansion. They find Annie sitting in the kitchen, so they feed her some fertilizer. After that, they leave. Andre comes in after a while, and he is happy to finally find his sister. But the biotech girls come and surround him. They try to feed fertilizer to him as well. But Annie bites one of them, because she too is a zombie now. Dan, who has also become a zombie, arrives at that place and starts attacking them. In their fight, one of the vaccines falls and covers the air. Dan starts chasing Andre, but he stops because Annie is in front of him. Back in the hallway, the two girls shoot each other because they both think that the other has become a zombie. Andre then takes Patricia's phone and starts shooting a live video to ask for help. Seeing this, the babysitter goes out to save them. Meanwhile, the army also arrives on the island. Andre is happy, but the army starts attacking everyone, whether they are infected or not. So, Andre runs away and hides. Just then, the vaccine which was dropped earlier completes working and Annie turns back into a human. Back in the mansion, Dan also turns back into a human. The army has arrived, and they find Dan. Dan tries to convince them that he is not a zombie, but the soldiers do not listen to him. They burn him and Patricia alive. Elsewhere, Andre has reached the store. He and Annie are rescued by their babysitter, who has come on a boat. Now that he is safe, Andre throws away Patricia's hand, which he had been keeping to open her phone. The hand falls into the sea, and the fish start eating it. The fish then become infected. And this is how this zombie thriller ends. For more unique and fascinating movies that you may not even have heard about, click on the videos on your screen. Also, do subscribe, like, and comment. Your one act will make a huge difference to us.